Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your GPT assistance directly into your project management tool. Uh, in this case, I will use ClickUp, which is the project management tool I use, but it works with any other project management tool. And this is a very simple yet very powerful automation, especially if you have a team and would like to create a digital you to answer the most frequent queries from your team. So basically what I'm going to do is I will exemplify here. So this is ClickUp. These are my tasks. Inside every task, there's this sort of chat. And if I come here and say, ask GPT, give me a YouTube idea. And after a few seconds, the my assistant answers me here directly in the chat. Um, so. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how can how you can integrate this in your project management tool, how you can create this yourself. Um, for this, we need a few different tools. First, we need Make, which is a no-code automation platform that I completely love. It has thousands of, of different apps, and we just connect the dots in a very visually appealing way. And then we did need OpenAI, of course, uh, which is the company behind ChatGPT. But we won't be using ChatGPT. And we not sure if you are aware of the GPTs uh, by OpenAI. Um, for the GPTs, we need uh, ChatGPT Premium. For this automation, we don't need the ChatGPT Premium, but we need to create the assistance in our um, uh, uh, OpenAI account. So, for example, the assistance is basically it, it is the GPTs, but on the playground. And I've created, I have a bunch here. Basically, I've created like um, consultants or mentors for my own. Uh, projects. So for example, I have a LinkedIn post generator, I have a YouTube outliner, and I have for my own brands. Uh, the very uh, special thing about these assistants is we can upload documents. So imagine you have FAQs uh, or you have like your business's processes, you can upload all of them and interact with this chat as it was a very customized chat GPT made for your business only. Uh, so this is very, very important. You don't need ChatGPT Premium to use this. However, you'll be paying per usage. So just it, it's quite cheap, but just uh, you can uh, follow how much you're spending here in the usage. Uh, OK, so we can now erase these. And now I'll also stop the bot I've created. So I'm not cheating and I'll create from the start. So after creating your account on make.com, which is free to start with, uh, you'll be creating scenarios. Scenarios are like the automations. So you create a brand new scenario and you'll have basically a blank page. Um, the first, and then you, you, you can basically select the modules, the, the apps. Uh, you have thousands of apps to choose from. Most of the most popular um, project management tools are here. And this automation works with a bunch of them. Uh, I'm going to exemplify with ClickUp. Uh, something that is very important. So depending on the tool, the the module, the initial module might be different. So for example, for ClickUp, um, the module I want is watch tasks. And it's very important to have this instant tag because we want the automation to run instantly after data arrives. If this instant tag, it's not here, I would have to schedule it and we don't want that. So basically it will be watch tasks. I'll turn this off. Um, so for ClickUp is watch tasks, for teamwork is new event, for Trello is watch activities, for Azan is watch webhook events. So depending on the tool, um, you're going to need uh, a different trigger, but the instant tag is completely mandatory. So we now forget the others and we focus on ClickUp. So the first step, we need to create a webhook. Basically, every time there's a comment on ClickUp, ClickUp will send a webhook to this app that, so we can process it on our automation. Um, I will add a new webhook. It doesn't really matter. It's like uh, task comment webhook. Uh, if it is your first time using Make or uh, ClickUp on Make, you'll have to connect your account, but it's pretty easy. Um, you just connect your account there and you select it. And then the ev event type, it's very important, will we'll select task comment posted. So that's the event we want the webhook to, to trigger from. And we need to choose the workspace. And it's now selected. So now I'm going to test it, run once. It will be waiting for data. 
we can come here and say hello and we now have uh, we now have got our comment here hello next step very easy we just add a new module we search for open ai and we're going to use the module message and assistance once again uh, you'll need to connect your account connect uh, input your api key if it is your first time doing this just click this link and it will basically guide you uh, and then on this module we'll have to select which assistant do we want um, to message in this case flow shift and i'm gonna input the message here uh, text contents and chana so basically what's uh, what this automation is going to do is every time there's a comment on a task on ClickUp, I will message an assistant. And then I need the assistant to post the response on ClickUp. So I will search for comments, post a task comment. We want the, the task that to comment on will be the task we got the comment from. And the text will be the content value so that's pretty it the first step of this automation is basically this so we comment on ClickUp we message the assistant and then we get the message of the assistant in our ClickUp um, so now we, we can actually try this see what's happening hello and now the chatbot the GBT answers. Hello, how can I assist you today? So there's a few things we need to, to do here. First, we only want the message to be sent to, to the assistant um, if we want it. So I don't want the GBT to be, to be answering to every single comment because we might have team members talking to each other. So I will have a filter here. Only when, oops, only when called. And the filter will be, I just want this to run if the comment, the text content starts with um, Ask GPT. And you can even um, create a mascot and get, give it a name. Um, so I only wanted to process comments that start with Ask GPT. And then, so that's the filter. And then I'm gonna also add something here so we know. Um, response by GPT. Okay. So we're now only uh, processing, we can actually test. So if you now say hello, if I comment hello, it processes, so it got the comment, but it didn't pass the filter. So basically, hello, doesn't start with ask GPT, so it, it didn't process. So we see that the automation didn't go through. But if I say ask GPT, give me a headline idea. Oops, I need to run it first. Ask GPT, give me a headline idea. On the back end, it got through. So now it got through, I messaged the assistant and now I, have, I might have a comment back on my ClickUp. Response by GPT, unlocking efficiency, how a flow shift AI revolutionizes business workflows with cutting edge automation. Pretty good. Um, so now we want something else. This is the step A, it's already done. Um, but I want to add the feature to be conversational. So ask uh, ChatGPT is conversational. So I may have a prompt and then I have an answer. I can say, give me another one. Like I, I can re-prompt. And how I, how we gonna do that is, uh, so first on the task comment, in the end of the response of the GPT, I will include the thread, thread ID, which is basically the ID of this conversation. And then I will create another path here. I'll add a router. Let me get this out of the way. I'll add a router. I'll connect these two. So now that's the path A. The path B I wanted to follow is the thread. So this is thread. If the comments 
starts with thread underscore. If the comment starts with thread underscore, it follows the path B. Uh, and then I will message. I can actually clone this. So I'll select the whole branch, copy modules, uh, paste. It is basically the same. I'm just going to delete this filter. It makes no sense here. Um, ju there's just a, a small difference. I'm not messaging an AI, uh, the assistant, with the thread ID in blank. I'll need to input the thread ID that comes from that conversation. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I will need to add a step to extract the thread from the conversation. So that will be a set variable, and I will explain you what I'm going to do here. First, I will test it. Um, so now um, I'll, I have to find a way to extract the thread from the conversation. So I'm posting a comment with the thread in, below. So if I run once, and then I message ask GPT hello. Very standard. I'm not pushing too much. You might be tired. It's already processing in the backhand. And now we have, uh, we should have a response coming soon. There we go. Uh, we have the response by GPT and now we have the thread. So now if I copy this thread, uh, I want business, business, business idea. So now I, I started the conversation with the thread ID instead of the ask GPT. So now in the backend, we, if we run it, we have, there we go. In, in the back end, it doesn't go on the, on the path, on the top path. It goes to the bottom path because the message starts with thread underscore and not ask a GPT. But now we, we have to find a way to extract that thread. How we're going to do this is thread ID. And we want to extract from the wall string, which is the comment. We want a substring, which is a, a portion of this uh, comment that starts at the beginning until there's um, a line break. So the thread ID is going to be a substring. This is like our make uh, built-in functions. Um, a substring of the comment starting in the position zero until the position index of the position of the line break. Oh, line break. Where's the line break? Is new line. So once again, are we going to extract is a substring of the comment from the position zero until the position of the line break, which is the index of the comment where there's a line break. So these are a combination of two uh, built-in functions of make the substring and the index of. There's got probably there's another way to to extract it, but this way it works. Um, so now we're going to extract the thread ID there, and then we message the assistant with the same message. But now we're going to have a thread ID. So there we go. We input the thread ID there, and it should be good. Uh, so run once. Actually, I'm going to do a full test. So I show you the context. Ask, ask GPT. Uh, give me a business uh, YouTube line idea. So now we went. We we went for the top path, and we got the comments. So now I'm just going to reprompt on that without context to show. Um, give me another. So reprompting on the thread. And now we run once again. I'll wait for new data. And send. So now it went for the top and path, the, the bottom path, um, because it starts with the thread ID. 
we were able to extract the thread. We have the thread ID, and then we message the the assistant. Um, and then without any context, he just gave me another one just to prove that uh, the conversational aspect is actually working. There's a lot of functions that you can input on top of this. For example, you can uh, have the assistant to read the whole task. Uh, if you have more information in this task, you can have it to read the whole task or just to read uh, the whole comments on this task if there's, if there's more people talking and doing stuff on that task. And that's basically it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can keep the knowledge base of your assistance, assistants up to date automatically. So imagine if you have like an assistant for your own business with a bunch of different documents, how can you update these documents uh, dynamically, completely um, automated? Um, so if you are interested, uh, definitely follow for that. If you're not interested, um, follow as well. It's free and it really helps me. Um, and yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm Miguel from flowshift.ai, uh, which is an AI automation studio that focuses on creating solutions and automating processes, leveraging AI to help businesses become more efficient and grow. If you are interested to know what AI automations can do for your business, let's have a chat. Thanks for watching and happy automating.